In the 1960s, the average teacher's salary was $5,174. To Kill a Mockingbird was published, as well as Where the Wild Things Are. The musical Fiddler on the Roof debuted. For the first time, teachers were allowed to teach while pregnant. The 1960s brought enormous changes for society and history. The civil rights movement, the women's liberation movement, birth control pill availability, the hippie movement, Woodstock, and the assassinations of President John F. Kennedy, Senator Robert Kennedy, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King Jr. Tumult and dissent marked the decade because of the Vietnam War, protests, draft dodgers, and amnesty. However, many positive events of the decade had lasting effects. The Peace Corps was established, Americans orbited the Earth and walked the moon, and the world rejoiced over the first successful human heart transplant. Eunice Kennedy Shriver helped establish a presidential committee on mental disabilities, and Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman elected to Congress. Mary Kay Ash founded Mary Kay Cosmetics. Culturally, this was the time of the twist and go-go boots. People watched the Flintstones, Andy Griffith, the Beverly Hillbillies, and laugh in. For Delta Kappa Gamma, the 1960s helped broaden the society's global reach. The Educational Foundation was proposed in 1960 and approved in 1964. The committee received startup funds from several sources. The Educational Foundation also initiated Project Peru, which ended in 1970, and Project North America, and began the Seminars for Purposeful Living. Additionally, 11 foundation trustees organized to develop the foundation's purposes and approved projects that included sending an ambassador to study needs in Peru, providing scholarships, giving financial assistance to World Fellowship recipients, and funding self-initiated projects and research. Society activities included the first pre-conference leadership development training for new presidents and executive secretaries an insurance plan with Boom Chapman, which by 1968 had more than 12,000 members participating, celebration plans for the 100th anniversary of Annie Webb Blanton's birth in 1867, and plans to provide an international officer for each state organization convention to finance World Fellowship with collections made during the Christmas season, to publish a program manual for chapter use, and to fund face-to-face meetings for all international committees. International presidents in the 1960s were Zora Ellis, Alita Wentworth Parker, Carolyn Gus, Nell McMaines, and Dorothy Lee Johnson. Achievement Award recipients were Dora McFarland, Ola B. Hiller, Mary Thornton, Carolyn Gus, Yvette Rosenthal, Catherine Nutterville, Alita Parker, Leela Lee Williams, Eva Gardner, and Nell McMaines. DKG celebrates those undaunted women who changed education and educators and whose foresight has continued to guide women educators for 100 years. <laughs>